Falcon Tire has only been a competitor in the United States since 1985. Furthermore, the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W, their wildly popular venture into the off-road and light truck market, has only been on the market since 2015. So how did this underdog tire company create one of the best series of all-terrain and off-road tires, tires that came standard on legendary off-roaders like the Jeep Gladiator and Wrangler Rubicon packages? Falcon has spent most of its time as a high-performance brand, focusing on tires that can be pushed to extremes in motorsport. They have a long history of competing in and sponsoring motorsports events, making passenger car tires for professionals and enthusiasts alike. Fast forward to 2010. Overlanding isn't even a movement yet, and Falcon has the foresight to release the Wild Peak AT. By 2012, Falcon has already won the Everyman Challenge at King of Hammers, one of the premier off-road races in the United States. They would go on to win consecutively in 2013, 2014, and 2015. By 2015, Falcon gets its first big break. They're selected as the OEM fitment on Jeep Compass and certain Jeep Patriot models. They took note of their success in the American market, and by 2016, the first North American Falcon tire was made. By 2018, we saw Ram 1500s, Volkswagen Jettas, and Subaru Foresters all leaving the factory with Falcon tires as standard equipment. Most impressively, the Wild Peak AT3W was selected as the OEM option for the 2020 Jeep Gladiator and the Wrangler in the Rubicon trims, which are two of the most capable off-road vehicles offered in the United States. So what did Falcon do to get all this attention so quickly? In less than a decade, they went from a no-name, cheapy tire brand to one of the most recognizable and trusted brands on 4x4 vehicles. For starters, Falcons came in at a competitive price. They were cheaper than many other name brand tires when they first hit the market, especially compared to competitors like the BF Goodrich KO2. I don't know how they were doing it, but I remember in 2018 when I bought my first set of Falcons. The AT3Ws were a great deal. I was buying 32 11 and a half R15 light truck tires and they're less than 170 per tire through a reputable store, Discount Tire. Today, that same tire cost $250. Sure, inflation has occurred, but now the Falcon is only like $15 behind the KO2 in that size, whereas it used to be priced much further below. I suspect as Falcon has gained market share, they have slowly increased their profit margin. They no longer have the appearance of a bargain brand, at least for the AT3W and many of their sizes. Note that prices vary wildly depending on size, even if the diameters are similar. Falcon also went straight for the throat by offering the AT3W with a Three Peak Mountain Snowflake certification, signaling that the tires were a good buy for northern customers hoping to combat snow and slushy winters. Consumers already looking to shell out some cash on nicer tires were certain to consider snow and mud performance which shot Falcon ahead of similar competitors who did not offer the certification with their tires. After all, if you're gonna buy nice tires, why not buy something that can help out in all four seasons? If you're still watching this video, I'd appreciate you pressing the like button and letting me know that you found this video valuable and engaging. Also, Falcon nailed it on the aesthetic of the tire. On the light truck offerings for the AT3W, the sidewall shoulders are some of the most aggressive of any all-terrain tire available. They're quickly recognizable and look great on all kinds of vehicles. Usually to get a sidewall that looks that aggressive, you have to purchase a mud terrain tire. For many consumers, mud trains are simply too expensive or too impractical to justify, but the looks are certainly appealing. We all know the pavement princess trucks with mud tires that cost 400 a piece. So it certainly helped Falcon to make one of the most aggressive looking all-terrain tires available. It combined the functionality that many all-terrain and all-season tire buyers are looking for with the ideal macho off-road look that people also look for in their tires. Falcon did smaller things too, like offering an ultra competitive 55,000 mile warranty on their tires. They've also been diligent to stay on track of their marketing. They're active on social media and continue to have successful showing at motorsports events. Down to the small details, I've always found that the tires are very quiet on the road and handle well. They wear very slowly and work great. Additionally, Falcon has continued to innovate. They've expanded their line of tires far beyond one all-terrain tire, offering multiple all-terrain tires hybrid AT mud tires, and mud train tire. When I was in my market for my second set of all train tires, I looked for AT3Ws and noticed the price had gone up pretty substantially. So I started shopping some of their other models. For whatever reason, their newly introduced Rubitrek tire was a good deal in the 235-85 R16 size. They were still only 170 per tire. I don't think this is necessarily standard. Sometimes the Rubitrek is actually more expensive than the AT3W, depending on size. Don't forget, there's also light truck and passenger tires, and that messes with the prices, so make sure you know what you're buying and what you're comparing. There's a difference, and sometimes the tire will be offered in both light truck 
and passenger in the same size. In this video, I'm talking about their light truck tires. That's what I bought both time. Light truck Wild Peak AT3Ws and light truck Rubitrek. Falcon has two all-terrain offerings, one hybrid terrain option known as their RT, which is supposed to be between a mud and an all-terrain, and then they have their standard mud terrain offering. Now, before I go on to further explain what made Falcon tires rise to their place in the off-road industry, I'll address the small subset of viewers here who are watching with the impression that Falcon makes bad tires. You see, in the world of hobbyist off-roading, information and opinions float across the internet from person to person, and for every knowledgeable consumer who submits a review, I'm convinced that twice as many people air their opinions about equipment without having any idea of what they're talking about, especially on long-term expensive equipment like tires or suspension, Few people have the ability to test out multiple products side by side, let alone understand the specific features and physics that affect their experience. There's so much nuance involved in evaluating a tire. The air pressure, the vehicle weight, the temperature, the use of aftermarket suspension, the quality of the alignment, the size, the width, the weight of the tire. The variables go on and on and on. If you buy a tire and have a bad experience, it is hard to say from one experience that that tire is certainly an awful product. In addition, since products like tires are often a key component in modifying a vehicle, as well as the fact that they are quite expensive, people have a bias to justify and defend their decision. People don't want to look dumb. They don't want to admit that they wasted money, that they bought a bad product, so they will always downplay the bad characteristics of their purchases and over amplify the positive characteristics of whatever they purchased. They want to look like they made the right decision. They want to save face. So, not only do you have this weird problem where few people get to test products side by side, but also the average consumer is prone to over-defend and overemphasize the quality of their purchase in order to make themselves look competent and happy with their purchase. This doesn't happen all the time, and it's often not malicious, but they don't know any better and often can't do better than just to speak from the one experience with the one tire that they've just purchased and spent less than a thousand miles with driving so far. My advice based on this is to go into the tire buying process knowing that you will always hear good and bad things. Buying tires is just a bit of a guessing game, so go into it with a little bit of an open mind and see what you figure out. Buying tires is subjective and take everybody's opinion with a grain of salt. Now, back to what makes Falcon so great. Everywhere you look, Falcon has rave reviews. People love these lineup of tires and I've known people with the mud trains, I've known people with the all trains, and they love them, they work great, they're good in the snow, they hold up to their reputation. None of this would have been possible if these were crappy tires. The truth is, they perform. They're well acclaimed and receive praise all across the internet. They provide good, all-terrain traction and do hold their own in snowy conditions. From the start, it's been a good tire. What drew people to this tire in the first place was its value. It was specifically lower priced, yet seemed to offer no drawbacks over other all-terrain options. Falcon knew what they were doing from the beginning because they made a great tire. That was the key to this product the entire time. It was just a good tire. And once people got loyal, sure, did they raise the prices? Yes, but these tires work. They run, they're great. I've never had issues with my Falcon. Now, onto some of the other things that help propel Falcon. Specifically with the AT3W, they wear well. They grab on loose terrain and they're quiet on the freeway. When they first hit the market, they were an almost irresistible deal. There's nothing else quite like it. Nothing so aggressively designed, so competitively priced, and so balanced that providing traction and confidence while also being quiet and stable at high speeds. This is the perfect tire for all trained buyers. Buyers who are concerned with a regular hobby where they go off-road or they go camping or they go looking for hiking trails and they need all-terrain performance where they also are going to spend a significant amount of time either on the road or on the freeway doing things where they're worried their all-terrain tires might hold them back. They'll be too noisy, they'll wear too quickly, they'll make fuel mileage unbearable. These all-terrain tires don't do that. They are a great deal. They perform well in both conditions. This has also been my experience with the Rubitrek that I've had now for almost a year which is just a slightly less aggressive wild peak. It's super stable on the freeway and incredibly quiet. It added no road noise to my setup and I haven't even seen a drop in MPG despite going up a full engine tire diameter. That's what makes these tires from Falcon so popular. They perform well, yet they have so few drawbacks to the average consumer. You can purchase an all-terrain and get a true all-terrain tire, something that helps you out on the weekends, but is stable, 
reliable, quiet, and comfortable during the week when you have to commute with your vehicle. They're great tires, and I can see why they're so popular. If you want to see more information on similar topics, be sure to check out my other YouTube videos, including my video on Bilstein shocks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.